well, it's hard to say that there was one point. There was a bunch of things that happened. Like what? Uh, we worked together in various things over the years. Recently, we worked together more. Paul did a jam. Pat and I were included. I got a bass for Eric's son, and all these little things were going on. And uh, next thing you know, we started getting some emails. But the fans were really making a lot of uh, effort to uh, communicate to us that they wanted us to play. So it was getting louder and louder and louder. So we said, okay. It wasn't any one event, I don't think, but a series, a concatenation Whoa. of a wild dysphoria. Wow. It was really joyful. It was a lot of fun. I mean, the music that we used to play was always a lot of fun for us to play way back then. And to play it again, it just brought back all these old memories. It was, it was great. We clicked very, very fast because that music is sort of down into my DNA. So it was great. Really good. What about you, Eric? Um, same as Pat, you know, like the, the music is timeless, you know. Um, I... I was longing to uh, get together, to get back together with my brothers, you know, for for so many years, and and you know, I played the music with other bands and everything, but it wasn't the same without these guys, you know. So um, when we all got back together, it was like a, a like a, a new spark in my heart, and, you know. And ever since that day, I don't know, I mean, a couple months ago, when we got back together, it's been a, it's been so much fun. You know, I don't even look back anymore. What about you, Paul? Well, one of the first things that we did was actually totally unplanned. We did uh, an announcement of our reunion at uh, the Hard Rock Cafe in, in Tokyo. And uh, we just planned to sort of say hello to the world and let them know that we were uh, planning a tour. But uh, the record company had some guitars around. They stuck them in our hands, and we uh, just right off the bat spontaneously sang about four of our songs together. And that felt amazing. And you know, we had been talking before that. We were all excited about it. But when that, that to me was the first moment when it really was real. And not only did we play together, but we sang together. And that was a part of Mr. Big that I kind of forgot about. You know, I always, my memory of Mr. Big was like Billy and me doing crazy things together and Eric wailing away and Pat beating the crap out of the drums. But, um, but I forgot about the vocal harmonies. And the, uh, the vocal harmonies are, are so much a cool part of Mr. Big. You know, even at the beginning of the band, I think um, that was sort of a, a bonus thing that you know, we didn't even think about. And, and um, by the time we got into our Lean Into It record, we're all singing harmonies like crazy on songs like Green Hidden and To Be With You. And it's a big part of our sound. So um, that was a, a nice thing to remember and reunite with. Great. What about you, Billy? Do you want to add something? Not much more to add. It's just that, that was the first time we actually played together. We really didn't rehearse. Oh my God. And we quick went over what the words were in the chorus and stuff. And we went up and sang Green Tinted, uh, Wild World, um, oh Alive and Kicking. Alive and Kicking. <laughs> this perception that we only go to Japan, we only play in Japan, we only release records in Japan. It's not true, we sold millions of records in America. Sold more records in America than we did in Japan, by far. Okay. And uh, so we, uh, it's, it's after a while, we, um, it's a little frustrating to us because people just, like here's an example. I'll come home and say, yeah, I'll be going on tours from Japan. You going to Japan? I go, no, no, I'm going to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, but then after that, you're going to be Japan? I go, no. Oh, so you just come from Japan? I haven't been to Japan in four years, bro. You know what I mean? You know, so this is constant Japan, Japan, Japan. We love Japan. We love Thailand. We love Brazil. We love Finland. We love yeah. Germany. We love Vienna. We love all kinds of places, you know. We are very, very lucky to have fans from all over contact us and be there at our shows. And we're, we couldn't be more thankful for that. So, so we don't look at it as a region by region, country by country thing. We're just very happy that we have so many friends that are still around and willing to come to our shows and having a great time with us. And that's a cool thing. We're glad that we got together the way we did because nobody offered us money. We were, didn't, some promoter didn't come up and say, okay, if you guys get together, we'll do the shows. But no, no, we just said, let's play together. We're fortunate to find a wonderful manager, Tim, who's a friend of Paul Gilbert's. And he, we said, Tim, 
why don't you just take over the reins and uh, see if somebody wants to have us play, you know, and that was all that we didn't even think about money. And in fact, we don't really need it. And I think it's the best way to get together as a, as a reunion. Cause we actually want to do it. I mean, I, I, some, my best success of my life was with Mr. Big and to play with these guys again is a fantastic thing. And we're having a blast and, uh, sure we're getting paid for it, but not, we're not getting paid truckloads of cash. We're, we're doing okay. It's That's all we need. Fun. We're having a blast. First yeah. part is you have fun and then money is on money, right? Exactly. We kind of made a rule when we started okay. the band again, you know, we mm -hmm. got back together again that we don't want to do it if it's not enjoyable for us and for the fans. So that's the kind of our criteria. It doesn't really matter. The money doesn't matter to us, really. One of the things I like about Los Angeles is being close to a lot of the, the music industry, um, not necessarily the record companies, but being near Ibanez Guitars, I've got a custom shop there that I work with a lot, designing new instruments. Uh, I like being near Musicians Institute, that's an exciting place for me to, to go to and do some teaching and see what's going on with, with new guitar players. Uh, and it's sort of nostalgic, I, I moved there when I was 17 and really felt uh, embraced by Musicians. Uh, I grew up in a small town where there weren't a lot of musicians, and suddenly I was in a town where there's great drummers and bass players and singers, and and everyone's excited about music and everyone's into it. And so um, that's uh, that's always a great memory of mine. When I when I first came to go to MI, and uh, I can't shake it. It's hard to say. I don't know. We, we do, all of us travel a lot, you know, but I know all of us, um, from traveling so much, you generally like to be home. It's nice to get home once in a while. But then again, once you're on the road and you get in the groove, you get warmed up every day and practicing and get up on stage and playing. And it's, it's a, there's a whole other thing, uh, that we love as much, but, uh, it takes us a couple of weeks when we get home to try to get back to normal again, a little bit, get over the jet lag. What about you, Pat? Well, it's, it's a little bit of a love-hate relationship in a way because I love being on stage in front of any, anywhere in the world. But getting there, there's a lot of uh, hills and valleys you go through emotionally to get there. And sometimes the traveling can be a bit of a pain. But it's really, uh, I have to say that it is a big payoff. Once we get on stage and we're playing, um, the, f the first, right the f opening of the show, I mean, everything, I forget about everything else, and it's just a riot. It's a lot of fun, and it's well worth it. And I know there's thousands of people that would love to be sitting in my chair doing exactly the same thing, so I don't take it for granted. Eric? Yeah, I mean, granted. I'll vote for you in the Eric. next election. Uh, hey, um, <laughs> I'm not ready to kick the bucket yet. Um, <laughs> What it is is that, yeah, the traveling can be uh, difficult at times, and uh, you know, I, I, you know, I have a um, wife and two children at home, and I, I miss them, I love them, and everything. But um, they, my kids, are are fans. You know, they they like to see me out there, like doing what I what I love. You know, and uh, they get it. But when I come home um, off of this European tour. I'm gonna basically have like five days to uh, get over the, some jet lag and yeah. head on out to uh, India. So, but hey, look, I still got the strength, you know, of a young man. This is Paul Gilbert. Hi, this is Eric Martin. I'm Pat Torpy. And my name is Billy Sheehan. We are Mr. Mr. Big. You're watching us right here on Mulacek, the only TV show you'll ever need. Mula